Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. So today we are going to uh, discuss a new topic and that is heat. So first of all, uh, the words come in our mind when we hear the word heat that is hot and cold, isn't it? These two words are very often used by us. So a cup of streaming tea is said to be hot and ice cubes said to be cold. So basically hot and cold are the relative terms to compare how objects feel when they have more or less of energy and that energy is known as heat energy. So an object possessing more heat energy is said to be hot and the object having less heat energy is said to be cold. So heat is a form of energy. First of all you do this thing. See this is my palm and I will rub it like this. If you rub it, you try it, if you rub it then what you will feel? You will feel some heat in your palm. Isn't it? After rubbing it, put it in your cheeks. You will feel some heat. Why you are feeling this heat? Because the kinetic energy of our my palm, the friction of my palm is getting converted into heat. Okay. So energy can be convertible. So one form of energy can be converted to another form. So kinetic energy converted to heat energy. That's why heat is a form of energy. Why do we feel hot and why do we feel cold? Why do we feel hot when we touch this uh, hot cup of tea? Why do we feel cold when we uh, touch this ice cube? Why? What is the reason? This is because heat energy flows from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature. See this. There is an object is at temperature 70 degree. It has some heat and there is another object at temperature 30 degree it also has some heat okay now from which object to which object the heat will flow the heat will flow from 70 degree temperature to 30 degree temperature so what are the main sources of heat sources of heat are sun sun is the natural source of heat energy on our planet electricity also gives up heat in many ways and one more source of heat is fire okay the simple way, a very simple way to provide heat is by producing fire. And there are some substances which when heated in air catch fire. Okay, and some substances which do not catch fire. So the substance that has catch fire that are known as inflammable substances. And that do not catch fire, these are called as non-inflammable substances. Okay, inflammable substances are, you can just look around dry paper, dry leaves, dry wood, okay, dry cloth, petrol, kerosene oil, there are many things, plastic, wax, candle, okay, there are many things. And substances those are non-inflammable like alloys, bricks, asbestos or water, okay, these are all non-inflammable substances. We cannot measure heat directly, okay, but we can detect its effects on an object. So, Changes in heat energy can be seen by change in temperature. When heat is supplied to an object, there is usually rise in temperature of that object. Similarly, when the object is cooled, its temperature usually decreases. So the amount of heat gain or lost by an object can usually be found by measuring the change in temperature of that object. So what is temperature and how it is measured? Okay. So first of all, let me let us see the definition. What is the temperature? It is the measure of degree of hotness or coldness of a body it's called its temperature. Okay, and it's generally measured in degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Okay, the sign unit is Kelvin. Normally we measure it in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And the device that is used to measure the temperature is called thermometer. Exactly. Okay. So there are different types of thermometers, but I have two thermometers with me. Okay. So you can see this is a this is a clinical thermometer. Okay. And this is 
laboratory thermometer you can see that there are three different scales to measure temperature these are one is celsius scale fahrenheit scale kelvin scale in celsius scale the lower fixed point is 0 degree celsius the upper fixed point is 100 degree celsius and the length of the thermometer between the lower fixed point and the upper fixed point is divided into 100 equal parts fahrenheit scale in fahrenheit scale the lower fixed point is 32 degree fahrenheit the upper fixed point is 212 degree fahrenheit and the length of the thermometer between the lower fixed point and the upper fixed point is divided into 180 equal parts in the kelvin scale the lower fixed point is 273 kelvin the upper fixed point is 373 kelvin and the length of the thermometer between the lower fixed point and the upper fixed point is divided into 100 equal parts but today we will talk about only celsius scale. in this thermometer if you can see both the scales are given degree centigrade and degree fahrenheit one side degree centigrade one side degree fahrenheit so you can see the range of degree centigrade is from 35 degree centigrade to 42 degree centigrade it is generally used to measure the temperature of the body so temperature of the body you can see 37 degree celsius correspondingly the fahrenheit degree the range of fahrenheit degree is 94 degree fahrenheit to 108 degree fahrenheit and the body temperature is given here 98.6 degree Fahrenheit the arrow that red arrow is given so our body temperature does not go beyond 108 degree Fahrenheit or 94 degree Fahrenheit if you see the laboratory thermometer if I show you the laboratory thermometer the range of this, uh, this thermometer is from minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius and if you compare with the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer clinical thermometer has 35 to 42 degree celsius and laboratory thermometer has minus 10 degree to 110 degree celsius and one more thing you will observe you can see there is a thin tube running in the middle of the thermometer both the thermometer one is gray in color and another is red in color so the thermometer that has gray in color having mercury inside thermometer having red in color having alcohol inside and there is another difference the difference is in laboratory thermometer there is no kink at the bottom at the bulb and in the clinical thermometer the kink is present that kink does not allow the mercury to go down when it reaches at some level so let us do an activity to compare the temperature of tap water, ice cold water and hot water. So first of all, let's see what are the materials required. Here you can see three glasses. So for in first glass, I am taking normal tap water. In second glass, I am taking hot water. It's very hot. Please do this experiment in front of your parents. And next, in the next class, I will take some ice. <coughs> now I will fill this glass with water. So in these three glasses, this is tap water, this is hot water and this is cold water. Now put the thermometer inside the tap water. read the red line where it is the red line okay red line is here okay you can see the red line see here it is at just below 30 degree okay that means what is the temperature here almost 28 degree okay now if you put it in the cold water then see what will happen you can see the red line it's almost 27 degree okay now putting it in the cold water Now see it is moving down, we are in the cold water, it is moving down, almost it has reached to 
below 5 degree now it is 4 degree still moving down after some time it will move 0 degree now taking it to the hot water okay this is the hot water taking it to the hot water and see the rise in, the rise in temperature see how fast it is rising wow it is rising so fast almost reached 70 degree okay so this is the 70 degree so this one tap water room temperature 25 to 26 degree this is almost 5 degree or less than that okay it will go and here it is almost reached 70 degree you can see that So this is the temperature in degree Celsius starts from minus 10 to 110 degree okay this hot water at 70 degree then slowly slowly it will cool down and temperature will also reduced so like this way we can measure the temperature using thermometer so try this uh, experiment out in at your home using because laboratory thermometer you will not have so using a clinical thermometer you can try it at your home and definitely you will get the same result what I have shown it to you here okay try it out and show me the result thank you very much and have a good day bye bye